I hope this is working. Hello. So I hope this is working. I apologize for the delay in getting online. Unfortunately, I had some technical difficulties here, uh, which stopped me from getting online exactly on time. And a little bit late here, 20 minutes late, but I'm here. <laughs> That's the main thing. So good to see you all. Hello, everyone. Yes, this is on. Yes, it seems to be working now across the board, which is brilliant. And it means that you can see there. So hello. Nice to see you. Bonjour. Bonjour. Hello from Cholula. Hello. Hola, que tal? Todo bien? Please and chili. Hello. Need some young? Ça va, ça legal. So, I can see that more of you joining. And I, as I say, I apologize once again for uh, the delay in getting online today. Unfortunately, it was um, a technical difficulty and we had to restart the, the routers and things and make sure we got online properly. And uh, it just unfortunately took um, only 20 minutes to, to just get to you. So I do apologize for that. Was, obviously, these things do happen when you're dealing with online situations. Um, I try and minimize them as much as I possibly can. Um, but hello for, uh, and thank you for joining. Uh, <laughs> um, nice to see you all joining. Hello. Hello, hello. How's it going? It's going well. Thank you, Joseph. Good to see you, Chesh, Sonia. Hi. Hello, is that Zahar? And nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thank you for joining. Quanti lingue parla? Mario, um, ne ho studiato più di più di cinquanta, ma per parlare così non lo so, è difficile dirlo. Perché ho con tante lingue, allora è veramente difficile dire. E per me non ha importanza neanche. Um, è veramente la scelta di ognuno dire se parlo o meno. Se non lo parlo, non lo parlo. Se parlo, parlo. Va bene per me. <laughs> um, okay, so hello, hello from Arizona. Privet Kagdila Harsho. Hello from Ecuador and Los Angeles. Nice to see you. All these different places. Why Shmai? Yeah, yeah, Tian Dioch. Tian. Some of the mint. Sin Henry Ruan, Daniel. Huidah, Huidah. Hi, William from Brazil. Nice to see you. Thank you for joining. Wie geht es mir? Mir geht's gut, danke. So, ja, wie geht's dir? Hello from Morocco, hello. Hello, 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 nice to see you. Um, so many of you joining from different places. Uh, and du, oh, and Hamri, da ja. So in Macedonia, Rwanda, und ja, ever will you smile? It's gonna be a beep, no, it's Rwanda. It's queer, and ja, ah, pop it now. <laughs> beef and yow, <laughs> beef and yow, or uh, flay and hungry. Okay, let me see. It's nice to see you, Salon. Nice to see you all joining. Thank you so much for coming. Um, it's very nice. Ni ha, ni ha, ni ha young. Bonjour, ça va bien? Um, lernen Sie Persisch? Ja, das mache ich. Ich habe mein, mein Buch hier. Das mache ich jetzt tagtäglich eigentlich. Ich finde es so geil. <lacht> ich, bin, ja, ich bin so begeistert. Uh, mal gucken. Wie. Ich habe nächste Woche habe ich meine erste Klasse eigentlich. Das ist eine Stunde für äh, Persisch. So ein bisschen zu sprechen zum ersten Mal, muss ich sagen. Aber zuerst musste ich schon ein paar Wochen allein so, so lernen, damit ich was sagen kann. Ne? Aber jetzt geht so einigermaßen, dass ich was sagen kann. Es ist nicht besonders gut, aber mal gucken. Nächste Woche werde ich dann versuchen, ein bisschen Persisch zu sprechen. Mal gucken, ne? Nice to meet you too. Nice to see you all. Thank you all for... Uh, quando penso che parli una lingua, no? Beh, per me veramente dipende la persona con, con chi sto parlando, quindi per me va bene. Um, okay. I'm just going to see... And now I think we've got a nice group of us here. So I'll start talking about this. Um, can you do it, Kyle? So, <laughs> vielen Dank. <laughs> yeah, it's total cool. Oder? Is it better? No, nee. 
ich weh nicht. Ich habe keine Ahnung, warum ich jetzt geil benutzt habe. Finde ich sehr merkwürdig. Naja, so ist es halt. Es ist einfach automatisch aus meinem Mund gekommen. Naja, so geflogen wie ein Vögelchen, ne? Ähm, okay, jetzt hier. Darf ich eine Frage aus so, weil ich komme sie und in ich lerne so viele Sprachen zu meistern. Also ich komme aus also woher kommen Sie? Ich komme aus Großbritannien ursprünglich. Ich wohne in Mazedonien und ähm, ich spreche Sprachen, weil ich eigentlich mit Sprachen arbeite und ich habe an der Uni Sprachen auch studiert und ich lerne immer mehr Sprachen. Ich finde das ganz toll. Sueños, <lacht> normalmente pues en en cada idioma. Es que no tengo un idioma para mis sueños. Es que depende cada persona va a hablar su idioma en mis sueños. También en mis pensamientos. Así que tampoco pienso en idiomas tampoco. Uh, oh, from Ecuador. Ah, okay. uh, me sí. Hygli es de Iyen. Ya de Hygli es de Oxo. Trae. Por en Gore. Ja, ist gut. Okay. Okay, let me see. Bom dia, Brasileiro. Bom dia, bom dia, tudo bem. Okay, I think I've read most of the messages now. The lovely welcome messages. Thank you so much from you all on the three channels. And hopefully I haven't missed anyone out. If I don't get to you uh, with any of the questions at the moment, it's because I'll start talking to you about the Polyglot Conference, which is, I'm sure, while you're all here to listen to me. Um, so... As you all know, last two weeks ago, we made the announcement that the Polyglot Conference would take place in, um, as a global conference. That means that anyone, everyone from all around the world, no matter where you are, if you have an internet connection, you can join in. So that means all of you lucky people uh, watching this video now, you can all join in. So um, we're going to have updates on the Polyglot Conference website. And right now, what I'd suggest you do if you want to keep really up to date with what's going on is go to polyglotconference.com and sign up for updates. We, we're not the kind of um, conference or organization that bombards you with things. Uh, we're not trying to sell you anything. And um, this isn't my business. I do this because I love language. And I do this because um, if, you, if you're interested in being part of the community, then please do sign up so that you know what's going on. Not everyone's on Facebook, not everyone's on Twitter, not everyone's on YouTube, and not everyone is on Instagram. So We also have like a Telegram group as well. We try and hit all the groups, but we can't necessarily make sure that every single thing is on every single channel 100% of the time. The website is the thing that we will be focusing on moving forward. And Brett and Esther, who you can look up on the website, they're lovely people, and they are looking after it. They're basically acting as our, our local um, leaders for the conference this year because they're, they're the techies and they're going to be uh, working on the tech stuff, hopefully building up a tech team. So definitely, if you're interested in being part of the team, uh, we'd also love to hear from you. So please do feel free to write to the polyglotconference at gmail.com uh, email address and let us know if you, if you have something you, you are able to help with. Um, in preparation for the event, whether it's helping to support technically uh, when we get things up and running, or if um, you've got a background in programming or anything else, or even if, for example, you've got some ideas of um, doing some language chats, maybe you speak um, a language that's not commonly um, heard online and you want to be able to offer um, that as one of the chat rooms that we have for people attending the conference, then definitely we'd love to hear from you. And what we'll do is we'll keep um, we'll keep tabs on all of that stuff. Two weeks ago, I promised the people who applied that I would uh, be in touch about their proposals, and I haven't done that yet. So first of all, I'm sorry that I haven't done that. Um, that's busy, um, but I don't want that to be my excuse because I simply didn't find the time to be able to do it. Um, I apologize. Um, so please do accept my apologies if you have been waiting. Sent in though, um, basically for, like I said, two weeks ago, um, our, and we also have the different categories. So what we'll do, I will, I will do it today and I will um, invite you to let me know where you want me to uh, place the, ca the new category of what you've proposed. So it will still be valid. Um, 
There are, of course, some different agreements uh, with it being online this year. We're going to be having things that we'd like you to prepare pre planned It was something that needed a live audience, 100% live audience at the time. Then we may need to, you may need to look and reword it or rejig it, or there may be something else to take into consideration. So we want to give you that choice. Carry on with, with that, as that you've already sent to us. Um, but we will give you that choice, okay? Um, you're also welcome to add anything else in. The call for papers, which is, when I say call for papers, somebody asks very often in kind of academic circles. Um, and all it means is that you, we are asking people, we're putting a call out for you to apply to speak at the conference. So to submit your ideas for a presentation, it could be a workshop, it could be that you want to um, do anything five different topics that we have uh, this year. So just to recap on what those world, and that means that you can talk about things that are important to you in your part of the world. You can let us know what it's like where you live. It could be to do with the food, the culture, um, the history, um, the language. And what I would encourage you to do, if you're doing a window into my world, to do it in the local language, because that would be really, really cool. And if there are more than, there's more than one language, you can use more than one language. And then together to submit at the end of August, um, if your presentation is accepted, then you can put subtitles in different languages too. And that means that it will not only make it accessible to our friends who are hard of hearing um, or, or deaf, it, or people who, for one reason or another, cannot um, follow the, the, the spoken word. And it will also mean that you can make it into a learning exercise for all of us in the community who are interested in learning more about your language and where you're from and to celebrate it properly. Uh, this is one of the big advantages, this Polyglot Conference Global um, in languages and actually have the subtitles ready to go in a couple of languages even before it's seen by people. And it means that these become amazing materials. So we're going to produce as a group, as a community, we're going to produce some really fantastic materials for people learning world languages and something that you're in your language and vice versa. So if you're learning another person's language, then we're going to get all these cool materials on different topics in languages that are important to you. I also invite on this topic of a window into my world, um, there are topics that are topical for each individual country or uh, group of people. And I think that what's really important is that we understand what's important to you as a community. Um, so as a, as a language enthusiast, I'm interested in language, of course, but I'm actually interested in your culture. I'm interested in, in things that, that really mean something to you as a community and things that you know your community holds the learning community are also interested in these things it enriches our exposure to your your world it also enriches any future trips that we make to your country to your region it also enriches our ability to understand your background where you're from and anybody that we meet in the world who identifies with your community and your background we can also then understand them better too and it makes the world that little bit better i think so i encourage very very strongly at a conference you have time to plan it you now have until the end of um the end of july to plan it and you have the whole month of august to create your video um, and your presentation that we can that we can then upload and get ready for the conference and then when they're all ready as the conference, we will release them all to everybody at the conference at the same time. And you will all be able to see whatever you want to see. We're gonna put it in a nice format so that you can pick and choose whatever you want. So the first overriding one, with as I said, the first overriding theme is this um, of window into my world. I may make my own as well, by the way, just so you know, I'm planning on potentially making some nice uh, videos for you to, to share a window into my world. Talk about and I'd be very, very happy to take on your, um, your ideas. Then there's a second theme, which is um, black voices and minority voices. Now, the reason we have that, the window in my world really does encompass everything. But, and there's a big but, is that I want to make it absolutely clear and absolutely implicit that it does not matter where you're from, your background, 
background, your skin color, your religion, your your abilities, disabilities, your hear from you. You've got something to add. And that diversity is really, really key. Not just because it's important to hear your voice because you belong to a community. That's not the main thing. The main thing is that you represent somebody who can identify with you, who's sitting at home and maybe feels like they are secluded in one area and they therefore don't know whether or not they can put themselves forward in the future. And if you stand up and do it, it means that more people in the future can stand up and do it too. And it means that more people feel motivated and enabled to be able to make a difference and to talk in our community. And that is why it's particularly important. And the Polyglot Conference can give you that platform. And I really encourage people from black voices, minority voices to be heard at the event. A positive step to come to us too and we need you to come. I will try and approach as many people as I can where I see people and encourage you individually. It is a big task for me to do. So what I'm gonna ask for everyone listening now, reach out to somebody you know would be a good speaker and has something to share, and somebody who should be, be heard at the conference. Reach out to them, poke them, <laughs> poke them on Facebook, not, not in real life, but make sure that they're aware that they should also be heard, and we want to hear from them. Okay, so if you can all promise to do that and help me out and help out the Polyglot Conference team and the Langfest team in doing that, we would be super, super grateful. And um, it would just make things really, really cool. So that's the second thing. The third one, just in case that wasn't obvious enough, we're making it, it can be any kind of disability, okay, that you live with. It, some disabilities are seen, some dis disabilities are not seen, and people are judged in both, okay, on both things, right? Whether or not you can see or not see or, or not see a disability, you are judged, and we feel that, and we struggle with that, right? As 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 a society, we we have that happen. It's really highlight as well, if you have disabilities, things that you've had to overcome, whether it's an illness, whether it's um, a genetic. Um, issue or disorder that you were born with, you know, or whether it was something you developed, whatever it is, and you've overcome. I don't think sometimes people always appreciate how motivational it is to listen to your story of how you overcame things, adapted things, managed to achieve what you've achieved. It really is motivational for so many people, whether or not they live with a disability themselves. So please, 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 <laughs> please, please apply. And please tell people who you know have a good story. That's three. They are very, very well understood now as to what we want. The fourth one is the road to Cholula. Because of course this year we're not going physically to Cholula. Our hearts are always going to be in Mexico, right? Because Mexico is amazing and we love Mexico and we think Mexico is amazing. The people are wonderful. They've got some fabulous things to share and to celebrate. And next year in 2021, we cannot wait to be in Mexico physically. And it will be a lot of fun. And I think it'd be cool if Anya and her team at Zoloa Languages have put in so much work and so much effort they really have. They've done an amazing job. I can see Anna, Anya has just written now, just done such a great job in the preparation, all that work, the preparation for Cholula that we did um, before this happened. And we had to change plans because of the pandemic. All that work happened and it's still valid and it still works. Viva Mexico! <laughs> so we're, we need to go to Mexico and we will do it. So... If you've applied, we'll be replying today. Promise, 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 okay? Promise. I will be replying today and letting you know about where to go, where to look. So please do have your thoughts about whether or not you want to help with this path to Mexico. So having this path to Cholula, this road to Cholula as our, our theme, and you can join that theme as well. It will be a chance for you to get to know more about Mexico. I am counting on Anya, and I'm going to just make sure that she is listening to me now. She's going to do something amazing on the lap and her journey learning the Wattle language. Um, she's been really diligent in her studies. Um, 
she and her um, and her partner in crime, <laughs> partner in crime, partner in Zaloa, should I say? I shouldn't be too too uh, too flippant with my my English idioms, but her partner in Zaloa uh, and I uh, are just doing wonderful things, learning uh, Nawak. He is uh, his name is Os, and he is a really really great guy. Um, I met him personally myself, and my my hope is that some more of us will now have a time. We'll have a full year to learn some Nawak hope. And I hope that with Anya and with some other people doing some things that are Mexico focused, it will really help to motivate us to get on that path and to, and to follow in their footsteps. I know I am quite excited to follow in the footsteps of the group. Hopefully we can all speak to each other in Nawak. Wouldn't it be cool to have a full room of them? And so many of us would all understand it. That would be so good. So Cholula is going nowhere. They are so excited to have us there. We're excited to be there and we will be there. So we'll be there in Mexico 2021. Look out for that. This year, Polyglot Conference Global, the website, polyglotconference.com. Please go there, sign up for updates. Have a look at the call for papers. Share the call for papers with people you know. Look at doing something yourself. Even if you want to do a small, is we want richness, we want depth, we want people to come and to and go into your world, okay? Um, it might seem normal to you. It might seem mundane to you. It might seem, this is just what I do. But you cannot, cannot imagine how exciting it is for somebody on the other side of the world who has such a different life. Um Honestly, it's it, it's it's always fascinating. I I love it. So, please, 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 go to the site and apply to speak, and also sign up, and we'll have some more news soon. Now, one of the cool things that I can right now that I do know is another update is that we're working with Brett and Esther now that they're going to be kind of our local partners now that the event is um, is physically going to be on servers around the world to make it truly global. Um, so they're working on some really good designs on how to integrate the site and make it really fun. So places where you can watch the, the videos, the presentations, questions of the speakers, places where you can talk to each other live all around the world at any hour of the day, any day of the week of the whole time that we're together from the fit from the 16th of October, and we're going to be ending the following Sunday. So that's two weekends, one full week that you get with us, okay, for the for the, um, for the Polyglot Conference this year. Tickets are not yet on sale. We're not going to have, um, a, and if you cannot afford the ticket, for whatever reason you cannot afford it, you are welcome. You will be able to come. All you'll need to do is sign up. Like everyone else, we will make no difference. Um, if you can afford it and you can afford a little bit less or a little bit more, then whatever you can afford is welcome. OK, um, our goal out of this, um, our goal was not that. Our goal has been to get people from academia, people who work with languages and people who just love language together um, under one roof. And that's they may not know. I don't know. But this isn't my main job. I have a full time job that I do, which isn't connected to the language community. Uh, I work uh, in social media management. And, um, and so I work for, for an agency that does social media management. And so my day job with the social element, who is also um, a sponsor of the Polyglot Conference every year, they allow me to use some of my time to help to organize this. Um, and they also um, help helps financially as well. So they have helped to support because clearly there are costs involved with running an event like this. But this isn't this isn't my job. It isn't a job that Anya's doing for payment either. Anya's doing this um, at, free of charge. She's volunteering her time and she's put Tetsu and his team at Langfest receive nothing in payment for this. They are doing this out of the goodness of their hearts. They're just very, very kind, lovely people. Um, Brett and Esther, um, Professor Alexander Aguales, they've all donated time. Uh, Brett and Esther are going to be donating a lot of time this year because it's an online conference. And again, they've not asked for money for this. They've done this out of the kindness of their hearts because they believe in, in the sharing of knowledge. So the only thing I ask from you 
is for you to also get involved in making this as good as it can possibly be. And that's by sharing your stories, by sharing your knowledge, by reaching out to more. You make a difference and you help us to make an even bigger difference too with the platform, okay? Um, so they're working now on ex expanding the site. The site will include many, many things. Um, we hope for ready for the conference. And um, hopefully we'll have a few things to, to share with you in between. So over these in sort of every two weeks, we're gonna have these updates on the conference so you stay up to date with what's going on. And we will have updates and share with you what's happening, okay? The great team at Cholula, so this is a really added advantage for me. I get to keep Anya <laughs> on the team for an extra year. I mean, how lucky am I? Anya is an absolute powerhouse. She is, she's so hardworking. She and her team are just wonderful, wonderful people. They're fabulous. And they're going to be amazing in Cholula, but they're already amazing online at this conference for, for the global conference. So I'm so grateful that we have them. The other cool thing that we have as well is that we get to keep our Langfest not just committed to staying with us for this year and adding some cool social stuff. They're also going to stay with us for Cholula. <laughs> so we're going to have... Um, and we want to add more to the team. So please do reach out if uh, whether it's technical help, whether it's language help, whether you want to help us translate the website into different languages. Um, there are many too. We'd be very, very grateful. And, um, and, and as I say, this event, everyone's event, it's, um, you know, it's, it really is. It's, it's for everyone. And it's, it's kind of like language learning, right? The more, the more you put into your language learning, the more you get out of it at the end. And it's like that with the conference. And um, I've just seen dedicated people come, present, and uh, and just do some great work. Um, every year, I come that I have a month off, kind of as it ends. <laughs> I'm absolutely exhausted, but I love it, and I'm feeling out, and I'm like ready to go again for the next year. And um, it's it's just really I get to see. Um, all you wonderful people, that's the first thing I feel very energized by. Um, I get some really nice comments and I get people saying very nice things about they watched this presentation or they came to the conference and met these people. And because of that, they went into these other wonderful things. That me makes me very, very happy. Uh, it means an awful lot to me to hear those kinds of things. Um, the other thing I, I really get out of it is I think it's kind of back to that whole um you know when you build something like hunter gatherer type thing i think because i work on in an online environment i give advice normally in my day-to-day -day job um building the conference i actually see something in seeing that happen and then having the videos of it as well and releasing them i then get to see these nice playlists that keep um growing uh from different conferences <laughs> really like that, that that is not just for a conference it's also throughout the year and um, I've really, really enjoyed doing that too. And um, so if you think, you know, I, I wouldn't want anyone to feel sorry for me saying, I'm not saying I don't get paid for this to get sympathy or to, for people to feel sorry for me because I, I get paid way more in terms of the good feelings I get from doing it and the love and the, and the positivity and the motivation to do more. I get so much just from that, that for me, that's, that's worth more than any money anyone could ever give me. So um, thank you an audience. And people say, oh, you know, thank you, thank you for coming. And I said, well, you know, if, if it weren't for you, if it weren't for all these people, these teams of people that put this together and make it possible, if it weren't for everyone that, that was behind it, it would just be me prancing around on the stage, <laughs> talking to myself and laughing at my own jokes. <laughs> Quite literally, that would be it. Um, so yeah, I really do appreciate it. So um so yeah, thank you. And thank you for listening and coming. And even if I was like 15, 20 minutes late today because of my technical issues, when I see lots of nice comments on Facebook and, and on, you know, and on, on YouTube as well, you've been writing such nice things to me and um, I really appreciate it. Um, thank you. Now I will do my best if there are any questions. I think I've given you the updates that were important to me. Um, Actually, no, I haven't. I tell a lie. I haven't. There is one of the big, big thing that I have to absolutely confirmed sponsor already for this year who wants to do things in a big way. And that's italki. So 
really, really pleased to be working with italki again. So I want to give them a shout out. italki are an amazing, I will know italki, but if you don't, go to their website. It's italki.com, community tutors for different languages at different prices for lots of languages. And you can also make friends on the platform as well. Um, you can arrange uh, with your friends then to, to do your own kind of language exchanges too. So really, really cool. I'm very excited about that. And um, yeah, they're, they're, they're talking about some really interesting ideas that I can't tell you right now. I'm not doing that to be annoying. I promise I'm not doing that to be annoying. Although Tetsu will probably say I am. Don't listen to Tetsu. Tetsu will always... It's, um, they've got some really nice ideas. And I have been talking to some of our other previous sponsors too, who are extremely interested. They haven't been back formally yet on their... Um, what they're going to be able to do. But um, I have to share with you that italki have, we've accepted what they want to do. Um, and, and we're just going through the details now of how that will look. But to tell you that I am very, very excited as to what we've got in store. I think it's going to be a very exciting 10 days um, in October. And I think you're all going to be going out of your minds with excitement. Um, what more can I say? Um, I think that's it. Tetsu, Anya, have I missed anything? Please write a message now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> you can write. So I have it open right in front of me in case you have something that I've missed. Otherwise, questions. If there are any other big questions, please do let me know now. Even if I, I haven't seen them and you've written them and it's kind of scrolled, because sometimes these scroll quite quickly. But if you've got any conference questions let me know if you've got any language learning questions i would be extremely happy to hear from you on thursday on the speaking fluently um facebook page instagram page and also on the youtube channel which is under richard simcott as well i'm just going to have a scan through and see if there are any questions i can see very easily um do you think that it's generous perhaps to be let me see if the language learners polyglots or not. So, to, to it, so uh, is it going to be the biggest thing for polyglot um, learners? I'll, I'll be honest with you. So, Alex, you said you asked us now in YouTube. Um, I think it's going to be the biggest one. Um, honestly, numbers don't matter at all to me. Um, if, if I were to reach one person in in the middle of any continent who didn't have access to language enthusiasm motivation i would be happy so i honestly i don't keep tabs on scores and numbers um some people do and they find it useful um i've got nothing against people doing that if they want to um me personally i don't really mind um obviously it's nice to have lots of people talking uh, so for me the kind of that's really important to have lots of variety in talks, as many as we can possibly get in. But um, I mean, clearly that there is potential for shouting how many people we had from the rooftops at the end of the conference. If if that's kind of what you mean, it's not it's not my vibe, and um, and I, I, I it's it's not I, I don't see this as a competition between anything or um, even even for myself. Sometimes sponsors and, and people obviously are interested in these things, and I do share those kinds of things with them. I don't, unless I'm asked just generally as a factual thing, how many people came, I don't tend to talk about that very much just on my own. Um, because, yeah, it's it's just about everyone enjoying it, and I'd, I'd love to see as many people as want to come. So you're all welcome. As many people as want to come, we'll, we'll do our best to scale it up so that we can um, make it doable. It will require, obviously, um, paying for things like servers and things, which is why we need sponsorship. We also need to, to have some people uh, paying something to at least volunteer, voluntary um, on, on that kind of basis to kind of balance things out in terms of cost. Um, you know, obviously, I can't say, take a mortgage out of my house to, <laughs> to, um, to, to pay for the conference. That, that would, I think my wife might get a little bit annoyed with me. But at the same time, um, normally that's not a problem. We do kind of meet that threshold of, of what we need and then have a little bit of money aside uh, to start the next conference the following year. That's kind of how we work it normally. Um, so I normally actually just believe in people. I believe in the generosity and 
the, the goodwill and good nature of, of our community. I've never been disappointed, and I don't think I ever will be because um, most people are good, and uh, and that's that's just the way it is. So so yes, if I hope that answers your question in a very long winded way. I'm very long winded on that. Um, okay, I can see. So try and sing. Okay. I can't see any more questions about the Polyglot Conference on YouTube at the moment. Have a look. Um, I can see things about um, questions about language learning. Please do join me on um, on Thursday for my, I do every Thursday, I do a language learning thing. So please do join me there with language learning questions. I'll try and save the questions as well so that I can I can refer back to them, make sure I, I answer them at some point um, during that time. So let me see. So Lewis, how long is the presentation? Uh, that's a good question, Leslie. So the presentations, um, they can be, I mean, typically they're around half an hour to 45 minutes when we're in person. But actually, I would probably say that we could have mini presentations as well this year. So I think even if you've got a presentation of 5, 10, 15 minutes, if it's, say, in a language and you're doing it for people learning the language as well, um, those kinds of things would be really cool, I think, to include. And what do you guys, what do you all think? Do you think that would be a, a really cool thing to see? Um, to have even very short things that are just like on in the language, like somebody going round the where they live, talking about um, this is kind of our, our local beach, this is our local market, this is how people speak, these are the common things that you say, these are the fruits that we like. I remember the first time I went to well, the only time I went to Brazil, I was amazed at the types of fruit that you have in Brazil that I'd never seen in anywhere else in the world, and I think like. Hearing about Brazilian fruits at a fruit market in, in Brazilian Portuguese with subtitles in English or in French or in Spanish or in all of them or in Chinese or in Noak or whatever subtitles you want to put on there. How cool would that be? Like how cool, seriously, how cool would that be? Just as like an interest point, as a, a window into your world. But not just that, but as a language learning tool. I mean, that's so powerful to have that kind of thing, that realia, that, that real language use so to answer your question leslie as long as you want it to be um i guess up to like 45 minutes for a regular presentation is is normal it could go up to an hour if it's particularly in depth and you want to make it that way um but it could be yeah it could be 5 10 15 minutes if it's a language learning if that's your goal it's a window into my world my language that would be super cool um we're, we're not going to turn people away um for for for, for, for suggesting things just because of, of length and then we'll organize things also on the um, YouTube channel in playlists as well, so that when people come later, when we release them, we will release them as we do normally. So we'll, we'll have the conference that you can all come to and you can watch them during those 10 days. And then after that, we'll release them as we do normally. Um, and we'll release them so that it makes sense, okay? And so that we also get to give, um, get to give some proper um, credit to each individual that's done their work. We can actually celebrate each individual presentation because that's really important to us. I mean, for me, it's super important that we don't just have many, many presentations and some of them feel a bit lost. We want you all to have your your 15 minutes, your, your days or weeks, do you know what I mean, of, of your talk is highlighted now. And we want you all to enjoy that because you deserve it. If you're going to be giving us your time, your energy, your presentation to use exclusively on the Polyglot Conference, um, which will be which obviously will be accessible free of charge, but still you're giving it to us to use on our channels exclusively. We want to make sure that you get all of the or all of the fanfare that goes with that. You deserve it. You've put the work in, and um, there, there are no two ways about that. We'll highlight your link of whichever site you want to highlight as well of course if you know you you're starting a community you're starting a you know a language learning thing whatever you're doing we'll put the highlight we'll highlight and link back to you in the you know give you the, i know I'm, I'm kind of i'm long-winded when i get questions but i like to answer as fully as possible um i bet that comes across right <laughs> to explain that to you um i'm getting some very nice things here in in instagram i don't see any more questions i see uh, people saying nice things to me and i really appreciate it that you appreciate the work i'm doing and and of course i'm really really pleased that you appreciate that and that you you see that i really do care um about, about this whole thing um and i can say that i might be just the face talking to you right now but um i'm not the only one 
Anya, Tetsu, Brett, Esther, Alexander Aguelas, um, all of us um, are, are, are omened, and we're all very excited. And they're all, it, like, they're, they're all kind of like giddy kids. <laughs> they're all, whenever we're on a call, they get super excited and they get, they're really, it's really sweet. I love it. I absolutely love it. And as I talk to, as I say, I talk to, to, I talk in, they're really excited. The sponsors get super excited. I've had conversations with Asim Meal. I've had conversations with Teach Yourself. I've had conversations with Memorize. Um, and I've had conversations internally within the, 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 the social element. And I just get a wave of positivity from all of them. And the hope is we're all going to work together harmoniously again. And that's kind of what I, what I want to see. I'm very excited. Oh, thank you, Leslie, for putting the, you are such a sweetie. Thank you for putting that link to the um, call for papers in the chat on Facebook. Really appreciate you doing that. That's so kind. Thank you. I'm just going to give you a big love from the Polyglot Conference for doing that. It's the second, if it's going to work. Yes, hopefully it is. And I have. <laughs> Look at me and multitasking and everything. So I hope that that's um, answered the thrust of the questions that you probably have. And I hope that um, I've inspired some of you to reach out and to, to get involved. Um, exactly. Oh, thank you. So, so Chanel, you've now got the link. Uh, Chanel Patrice, we need to hear from you for sure because you have got something fantastic. Your story of setting up this podcast and just reaching out and learning um, languages that has to be a, what, at least one presentation from you, at least. <laughs> I mean, you've probably got loads of presentations that you could give us, but um, it's at least one, right? Um, and some of you may have a presentation. Look, I mean, if you've got a presentation and then you're passionate about language, do both, do three things, put more, whatever you can do, I mean, please do. Because I think the more we can add and help people learning languages and do things, you know, Consider there are people out there who are desperate for, for different levels of language. So you could have something that's aimed at a, a beginner speaker, an intermediate level, an advanced level, and sort of something to do with the slang, something to do with daily situations. You could honestly, you could just put in so many cool things. Um, I'm really, as you can see, I'm, so, um, I'm quite excited about the things I'm, I'm hopefully going to be able to do too. Um, I want to be able to add to some of the things that you can use yourselves in your own language learning journeys. Um, and it, as I say, I'm open to suggestions that you'd like to hear me talk about as well. Um, if there are things that sometimes when you, you know, kind of like I said, and I've been trying to point out to you what, what's interesting, and it might seem mundane like your daily lives, but to somebody else in another part of the world, it's absolutely fascinating. Um, I, I also have that difficulty sometimes. So if there are things that maybe you think I miss and would be interesting, feel free to shout out. I'm absolutely uh, you know, thrilled to hear from you. And um, so you know the web address, you know the link for the call for papers, you know what that means, and <laughs> you know what also we're looking for. Uh, you know also tickets not available yet, um, but we are working on how we're going to do that because we're going to do it on a voluntary basis as a, a donation. Um, we've just got to figure out, I'm still trying to, we're still trying to figure out to do it to avoid the donations being sort of sucked up by, especially the lower donations. If someone donates say for $5, $10, we would hate for that to turn out to be a dollar. For example, when it hits um, our coffers to be able to pay for, for certain things, that would be a shame because it would just be, four or five dollars to paypal directly right or use so we're kind of trying if anybody's got any suggestions or ideas about how to do that kind of thing feel free to shout out as well because i mean you know uh the, there's always people in the community i know that you've got fantastic abilities in many many areas and the thing that brings us together is language right we all love language and that's why we all belong together as a community because we love language right and that's what makes us um, a, 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 a community and a family, a language family. But within that family, you all have amazing abilities. I mean, I, 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 just, I, I am stunned uh, by just the amount of uh, professions and 
other skills that you all have that you've worked on for many many years that just just blows my mind um and i know that there'll be people out there who have experience or or sort of maybe have an idea that we may not have thought of um we've thought of quite a few <laughs> but we we're, we're always open to ideas and we're always open to to your thoughts so if you want to reach out with thoughts or ideas as well feel free to contact us at the poly at polyglots conference at gmail.com and be happy to receive um, your thoughts. If we don't get back to you straight away, um, it isn't because we're ignoring you. <laughs> you should get an automatic reply to know that your email has landed in our inbox. That should happen. Um, if we don't get back to you straight away, it's because we do work full time. And this is kind of a thing we do as a fun hobby. Um, and it's a hobby that's that's we take it very very seriously of course but that's that that will be why if, if it's a very urgent question we will do our best to answer it straight away um but if we know that we've got other things we have to prioritize unfortunately we do have to make decisions sometimes to uh, deprioritize replying to emails that we know other things need to be and first um and right at the moment um our overriding thing is 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 kind of from a technical point of view how we're going to make the conference work um, the the actual structure of the back end, the front end, and for me personally, talking with sponsors and talking with, um, I'm soon, very soon, talking as well with our, um, our sp potential speakers, uh, making sure that we we get uh, communications out today, as promised, to the people who have already applied to speak. And I hope I've answered that. Uh, and forgetting. Faculty remembering things. Is there anyone who embraces the forgetting faculty of remembering things? Uh, Benjamin, I, I forgot, I've forgotten more than I know. <laughs> so and I definitely embrace it. Is that what you mean? I don't know. But maybe that's a, there's the topic. Who knows? Um, let me see. There's the, the... Oh, so Alex, the generation question. Okay, I misread. Sorry, I misread on YouTube the question from Alex. Um so the, the 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 community is actually represented by people very young and very and, and sort of senior in years. So there are people at very different ends of um, of, of the spectrum, and that's beautiful. Um, so we've had people, um, you know, talking or, or um, well, talking not so much, but um, there's no reason why that can't happen. Um, if you're old enough to have a YouTube account and you're old enough to be on YouTube, or if you're not old enough and you've got your parents' permission and you send it to us, then the reason why we can't have younger people, but we would we would need that permission because um, to have a YouTube account, you need to be 16. So there are legal requirements in terms of that kind of thing um, or permission. And if you've got permission and you send us that, then... Um, that that could work for you for very young for a lot younger people um for otherwise there's no age limit really there's not really an age limit to this um i i kind of want it to be as open as possible and uh, we we've had it in in, in if they remember it was in new york we got a group of 13 14 15 year olds they came and um and it was just really wonderful to see them interact and speak to um people like Barry Farber, who sadly passed away this year. And he, the interacting, you know, this intergenerational uh, communication and, you know, mutual love of language, uh, absolutely wonderful to see. So, yeah, it's a nice mix. Um, um, let me say. I hope Steve Kaufman, you mentioned Steve Kaufman by name. I hope that he will present again, yeah. I mean, Steve's always got a lot to say. He's one of those... Very talkative Canadians. <laughs> He's also, he, he told me off the other day because I was I was too nice to him. So I've now called him a grumpy Canadian as well. So just to, just to balance things out. I really like Steve, actually. So it's, it's very difficult to be rude about Steve. He's a nice guy. He, he is a nice guy. He pretends he's not. He pretends to be grumpy, but he's a, he's a big, he's a big cuddly bear, really. I bet he's just hiding behind. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to annoy him now just by saying that. If he watches this, he'll be absolutely... <laughs> He'll probably tell me off again. Oh, dear. But I can't help myself. This is just me. Um, do I have a blog on YouTube? Actual Fluency. Um, actual Fluency has a on YouTube, Actual Fluency. So Chris, who is asking this question on YouTube, um, is um, 
he is going to be doing a polyglot cruise next year as well, which is cool. And uh, that's going to be in the Mediterranean. So look out for that on actual fluency. He's got a website and a podcast. And do I potentially have that? Yeah, I'm actually restarting my, very exciting, restarting my own blog properly. So if you go to speakingfluently.com, then I have my own uh, blog. It's, it's not been updated for a while, but I'm going to be updating it soon. Um, it's just been revamped, actually. And then for the Polyglot Conference, there will there will be um, more going on on the website. So yes, um, hopefully we'll be able to add more functionality in there with the great technical abilities of our wonderful tech team. Um, do you think knowing languages is actually... Um, I'll get to some language questions on Thursday. So keep that question in mind and i will come back on thursday on my own youtube channel uh facebook page and on instagram and i'll answer your questions about language learning then for now though i believe we've got to the end i've not seen any messages from anya or tetsu to say that i missed something really important which is always a good sign thank you very very much for coming and joining me today i really really appreciate it you are um really supportive and wonderful i appreciate all your love and support on all of these channels and um and for getting involved and for making this community what it is thank you very very much to you all all the best take care bye bye everyone <laughs>